how to get a great tutor reference. Welcome again to TAB TV. What is a tutor reference? This is a piece of document that is required as part of your UK university application. Please note that how to get this reference is dependent on whether you're applying from sixth form, college, or personally applying after further education. Either way, applicants nor their family members friends, partners or ex-partners are not permitted to write the said reference. On this week's broadcast, we will focus on how to get a great tutor reference as a current sixth form or college student applying to an undergraduate university course in the UK. At sixth form or college, a member or members of staff will write or contribute to the tutor reference written as part of the university application. Typically, Subject and form teachers provide mini references and the designated referee makes a single reference out of these. The head of sixth form or college will usually be involved in this process. Now, sometimes a subject teacher might serve as the referee. For example, a PE teacher may write references for students who wish to study, say, PE or sport science at university. So, here is the top tip for parents, carers and students alike. After identifying the member of staff responsible for the tutor reference and building a rapport with them, please don't go in guns blazing. Encourage your referee to include the following in your tutor reference. This also goes to referees out there, please. Things to include. Any relevant headline information about the sixth form or college that may invariably contextualize the student's achievements. For example, is the school or student's residence in a deprived area with perhaps low attainment, low progression to university? Does a high percentage of students within the school receive free school meals? Or is the student currently receiving a bursary? Moving on, also include the sixth form or college policies on subject choices or the number of subjects available. This should clarify their provision and possible limiting factors imposed on the student's application. Say if they don't offer further uh, maths, for example, and the student wants to do further maths but can't. Also include the student's academic achievements in context. That is, make it real and concrete. For example, daring the student is one of the top three performers in A-level maths class of 30 students. It means Daring is in the top 10%. The next set of things to include. Ability. So in current subjects with predicted grades, potential and progress so far. So even with struggling students, what progress have they made? Also, students' interests, skills and performance in both extracurricular and supra curricular activities. Next, the ability to meet any name specific requirements that some universities or courses may have. The next thing is verification of some important facts within the student's personal statement, for example, their work experience. And don't forget other qualities such as attitude, aptitude, motivation, enthusiasm and commitment. There is no rule that six forms or colleges must share this information with the applicants and therefore it becomes imperative that to get a great tutor reference students are in good standing and keep the relevant staff informed of their ambition and of achievements which are sometimes outside school. The referee also needs to be made aware of any extenuating circumstances such as disability, serious illness or adverse personal events that may have affected the student in the past, so that with the applicant's consent, these may be highlighted in the tutor reference. Thank you for watching TAP TV. Please share with others, like and subscribe to TAP TV. Until next time, enjoy. <laughs>